Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead and this evening I'm out. I had to put a couple new outside lights on. If you can see here, I'm out in the barn tonight, but check these out. Put these, see behind me. So we put some LEDs over here so you can see like in the chicken when they're outside. So when you go close, close the pen at night, uh, you can see. And then I had some of these were burned out. So it's getting those put in and getting all these guys rounded up in here for the night. So I switched cages with Athena well, back here in Dutch right there and Athena's not happy <laughs> but he's too hard him when I let him out I let him out separately a lot of times in the evening and this pen if you can see right here in the back corner you have to go through this pen here to get into it and he is hard to get through in there he's just a stubborn guy aren't you huh aren't you but <laughs> so I put him in here he's way easier to get him in there and Athena's easier to get back there so um, yeah make do with what you got but I want to introduce you to our newest members of the homestead so check these guys out so this is our little chick pen we made many years ago this is where we put our baby chicks when we get them so we have 27 new little babies. <laughs> I put a few lights in here. Um, this one a little bit closer because it gets in the 20s, teens, and we've got some temperatures probably pretty soon that will be in the single digits and below. <laughs> but at night it gets down to 20s right now and um, lately, so I wanna make sure they have plenty of heat in here. But look at those pullets so Janelle ordered a few different kinds and so we could get some different kind of eggs and all that so what we were trying to do is the reason we did it was we have all these all our normal egg layers if you can see they're in for the evening but we wanted to double our pretty much double our egg production in the winter in the winter it really slows down in the summer we get around 20 I mean, we've gotten a couple dozen a day, but usually around 20 or so a day. And what we do is we sell those and then that pays for our feed. And feed is so expensive. So we wanted to double our egg production and kind of help us out with our feed. And, you know, just plus we love raising chickens. <laughs> and look at those beautiful babies. Hi guys. Look at this, look at this beautiful, beautiful New Zealand but rabbit. We love her and fat. We take good care of them. But one of the things we wanted to do this year was really focus on uh, how, having a self-sustaining homestead, which we almost do now. And what I mean by that is what we raise and what we sell and all that really pays for everything else. So like our rabbits here, we'll, we'll breed our rabbits here and then we sell the babies and usually we actually make money if you take all year and the amount of food we buy for the rabbits we actually end up making money of course that doesn't take into consideration your time raising them and everything but as far as financially it takes care of them. our egg production is down a little bit and we're trying to address that um, and uh, we want to make sure we have uh, you know, we want to make sure we're, we, we're raising chickens, we're selling eggs, and it pays for their feed. Also supplies us with eggs. Uh, we want our garden to be producing so where we can sell some stuff. Uh, we give a lot away as well, but we want to be able to sell. So that's kind of help in that aspect as well. And our goats, we want to breed our goats. We, plan on, we sold three of them actually last year. Um, and it pretty much, if you figured it out, almost paid for all their feed for the year. So we want to do that this year again. And our lamb will butcher, we'll sell some and also pay for that. This year we're going to be getting some cows, actually two. And we'll be raising one for ourselves, selling the other one. So that will kind of offset our costs for that as well. So that's what we want to be, a pretty much self-sustaining homestead where everything pays for itself. And we can raise these little babies and beautiful animals and take good care of them and spoil them like we do we love these little little babies huh and uh but uh yeah 
So we're excited about how, getting some cows this week, calves this year, and um, Dutch, you need to settle down there, buddy. He's, he hates his, I put him in a new pen, switch pen, and he is not happy about it, right? Huh? Um, but I gotta get these guys' feet trimmed too. You ready to go back in your cage? Huh? Beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna put her back. Hi, Luna. Hey. Why don't you eat in the bottom of your bag? Huh, babe? Uh, how are you? Hey, guys, just a quick encouragement from the, the barn tonight as I'm getting ready to button it up in here tonight. But uh, just wanted to talk about joy and, and peace and something that I learned over, you know, uh, over the last couple decades uh, of my life um, when I really chose to intentionally simplify and intentionally live a, a life and enjoy nature and creation and be outside and, and raise animals and grow food and do all that thing. And one of the things, you know, that come along with all the benefits of growing your own food or raising your own food and, and, and doing all those things, one of the uh, benefits of that that you really don't think about is joy in peace um, there's a joy and peace that come from doing it it is fun to garden it is fun coming into the barn at night you know some nights you know you don't you might be tired or something like that but i'm just saying overall the lifestyle is so much fun and brings you so much joy and to raise animals and um we spoil our animals uh they live a really good life here at the homestead and uh, but just growing your own food, raising chickens and, and butchering chickens and raise, growing our gardens have been incredible. And, and uh, all those things are just really um, a joy that is unexplainable. But getting yourself right with creation, uh, getting out in God's glorious beauty, there's such a joy in that, you know. And, um, you know, for many my younger years growing up, I was always chasing after you know, the things, the shiny things of this, you know, got to have a nice car and all this stuff. And um, the funny thing is, every time it, it never brought you true peace and joy. And um, so just just a little bit of encouragement from the barn today. You know, if you, this is something you're seeking, go after it. Go after it. Um, we are, we, you know, one thing I love about the Homestead community uh, modern homesteaders, wherever you are in your self-sufficiency, simple journey, uh, we've we talked to a lot of people on Facebook through YouTube, all those things that have an acre or two acres, and what they do with that is amazing, and you can just see the joy in them as they do it, you know. So you don't have to have, you know, we have 20 acres, but you don't have to have 10 or 20 or 100 acres to 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 do this, you know. There's so many things you can do. Uh, right where you're at but if it's something you are looking to do uh, seek after it it is um, I would encourage you uh, to, to simplify your life and and uh, get right with nature and get right with creation get right with God so um, just a little encouragement it's been on my mind a little bit you know we always talk about all you know growing a garden and, and sometimes it can sound like oh man it's a lot of work it is a lot of work but the work is actually joy, joyous work. It brings you peace and satisfaction. So, um, yeah, just a little thought that was in my mind. I figured I'd share with you. But God bless you all. Thanks for following us. Thanks for um, tuning in and, and watching another video here at the Homestead. So God bless you all. Take care.